Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Now, we've played Geheimnis Act, we've played the Elder Kings, we're playing a Game of Thrones, and I figured, what have these all got in common? Well, they're all fantasy for a start, and also, if somebody doesn't like the Elder Kings, chance, or the Elder Scrolls, chances are they're not going to like the Elder Kings. Similarly, if you don't like Warhammer, you're probably not going to like Geheimnis Act. If you don't like Game of Thrones, you're probably not going to like Game of Thrones except the mod. So, I thought, what have we all got in common? We, we all like CK2, right? So, let's play some CK2. Well, actually, this is CK2+, and it's a bit of a weird mod pack I've put together here. So... Emphasis on the weird. This is going to be a weird series, and intentionally so. I've gone through the Steam Workshop, and I found what I would consider some of the best mods, some of the weirdest mods, some of the strangest mods, and I've sort of managed to get them somehow working in this one big mod pack. I'm not going to talk about what they are too much. I want some of them to be a surprise. I want to have some weird features cropping up that we don't expect. Not only that, but I'm also going to do something else with the series. I'm currently working on like a little C Sharp app, which will allow us to... Maybe on certain episodes, maybe not every single time. Allow us to set ourselves a goal for the episode. So that might be conquer a county in France or conquer a county in Germany or um, convert to Aztec or something like that. Something weird, convert a county. Like, like something with a decent difficulty, but also with rewards and failures. So if we don't succeed, we might have a malice. So we might say our current character uh, loses an arm or loses an eye. Or our heir becomes an imbecile, or something along those lines. But if we succeed with, obviously, this, this scaling difficulty uh, challenge, we'll say our next heir becomes, you know, attractive or strong, or something along those lines. So that we're getting this sort of uh, mission system, if you want, sort of like the in-game CK2 societies, but with a bit more control over it, because obviously I can change it completely custom. I could make a custom society, I guess. That's too much work. I should make a whole different app instead. Let's play in the High Middle Ages. I feel like this is a good place to start to see some of the features now honestly i don't really know what i'm getting into here because none of these mods i've tested too much besides ran the game for five years just to test for crashes besides that i don't know what we're getting ourselves into so this could be really bad or really good where do we want to start that's the real question i kind of want to play somewhere i'm comfortable with playing have played before and know how to pronounce the words that's kind of the most important part i don't want to make an ass of myself pronouncing french names wrong um, on the internet. So, I'm going to play England, I think. Why don't we play a Duke in England or something like that? Uh, someone that's a fairly comfortable style. We could play within the HRE, I suppose. That gives us some uh, dynamic empire type stuff. Sure, let's play of the Duke of Lombardy. That's a pretty good start, I think. It's not too difficult. Uh, the CK2 difficulty, you know, give, mm, it's a bit give or take, to be honest with you. Now, I think we're playing on very hard still. Um... I might be wrong about that, though, because I've been doing some testing in Elder Kings for a mod that I work on. We won't worry about that. I've got the rules set up. These are what I like to call the uh, the best rules. Uh, Mongol invasion on random, Aztec invasion on random, epidemics to deadly, that type of thing. Uh, it's given us a lot to do, but uh, actually, if we hover over the load rules button, you can see all the changes I've made there if you're interested. Um, let's get on with it. This is going to be a weird series. I've also done some of my own custom mods as well. Now, again, I'm going to keep those a secret because I want them to crop up manually during gameplay. I did forget to do one thing, that's change the CK2 plus checksum, so we're probably going to get a pop-up in a second, reminding us how big, dumb, stupid we are for forgetting to do that. There we go. I'll sort that out something later on. Um, sure, yeah, okay. That's part of a building mod, but we won't worry about that for now. So, obviously one of the first changes, I hope you've all noticed it, it's probably one of my favourite changes. We have Comic Sans as uh, our map font of the day. I feel like it really gives it a nice medieval vibe. I feel it's really setting the scene for us to do some sort of uh, conquest here. What can our goal be? We sort of need an overarching goal. Everybody goes into CK2 with a goal, don't they? Um, we could go for something generic, like reform the Holy Roman Empire. We could go for something a bit crazier, like reform the Aztec religion eventually. Um, do something crazy like that. We could also try bringing back something like a Hellenic faith, because CK2+, Plus, if you've never played it, is one of the most incredible mods. I, I don't actually play CK2 without it now. I've got to sort of think of a goal while we experience this. What the fuck? Magic? Duke Alberto Azo II. Didn't make a custom character or anything. You'll see why. Spent time on magical pursuits, enhancing their power and reducing their negative side effects. I'm sorry? Let's not worry about that. I feel like this guy isn't particularly suits magic, although he does have quite a high learning. Let's go with something I know. I need to get a feel for this game. We also need to set up our round, get a decent... A decent dynasty setup, you know? Get some get some heirs, things like that. We have a lot of ambitions here. Um, let's go with have a daughter, because I believe increases fertility. 
And we want... Oh, our wife is 45, right? Well, this is a good start. Let's get rid of you, then. And find ourselves a fresh one. What have we got? Let's have a look at our options here. This, this, this is always the first place I generally start when playing with uh, lots of mods that I don't really understand. We have uh, Shut the Gates. Obviously, Recruit for Opposition. These are all pretty normal. So, Declare Separatist War, I believe, is an addition from CK2+. Plus. Now, I don't normally play under the HRE, so I can't really say I've used this before. Um, declare War on Kaiser Ironic the Second for the independence of the Separatist movement. Does that mean we're head of the Separatist faction? No, but there is an independence faction and we could always start it. Okay, interesting. Uh, call to Arms. We do need to be in a faction to do that, though. Right, that makes sense. Uh, borrow 300 from Moneylenders. Take an Infected Blanket. Okay, good. Yep, perfect. This is what I was after. You've got many enemies, and you just can't defeat them head on. You must use cunning. What about going to the nearest hospital, taking a bunch of these disease-ridden, disease-full blankets, and giving them to one of your rivals, to one of your rivals? <laughs> Good. Right. And how much does that cost? Sorry. Um, is that is that for free? Let's not let's not take an effective blanket yet. Uh, we can create Royal Bloodline, a great mod that actually allows you to do something that's coming in the Holy Fury patch. So I suppose it's going to be irrelevant soon. Four thousand prestige. You gain a trait, which is obviously inherited by your children. For creating a bloodline that gives you prestige, uh, vassal opinion, I believe, as well. Now, compose a book. Let's mark that special interest, because that's a great thing to have marked special interest. Borrow from a private bank. Take money from a moneylender. Right. Okay, so this is a CK2 Plus feature. You can actually become a moneylender and loan money to other characters, and in return, they'll pay you interest. You obviously run the risk of them running off with the money, never paying you back, things like that. Besides that, you've got some pretty normal decisions. Okay, fair enough. That's a, that's a good thing. I'm glad we looked through that. Um... Factions, fairly normal. Religion, looks fairly normal to me. We've got ourselves a Pope. Seems normal. He hasn't had time to set up the College of Cardinals yet, but we'll, uh, we'll give him some chance. This is our heir. Ugo Dieste. Uh, he's a Lombard. Fussy, indolent, conscientious. Might be going for a stewardship training with this boy then. Um, he's not great though, is he? Oh. Magical education? How can I not? What do I need to... Oh my lord. Publicly practices a religion in the pagan group. Publicly practices a religion in the pagan group. Follows the Luciferian religion. Has the trait blood of the gods, dragon, dragonborn, jinn, demigod, god, demon, or magic heritage. <laughs> what have I done? Stewardship it is. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Um, what about our other son here? We've got uh, Count Falco of uh, this place, of course. He is also pretty terrible. We are his heir, so we might be able to get rid of this young boy here and re-inherit that. We are over our domain limit, though. What do we hold as the Duke of Lombardy? Quite a lot. Uh, what's that? One, two, three, four. Oh, that, that's a duchy uh, or a county under us, so we probably don't need to worry about that so much then. Okay, fair enough. We're quite powerful. 11,000 men. 1066. That's not bad. That's a pretty pretty decent amount. We've got Ambitious as well. We'll take rulership, try and buff ourselves up. Again, I just need to get up on my feet. We are 57. We haven't got long before we're going to be playing as this kid, so we need to make sure he's well-educated. Let's find him a good guardian. Um, Arcane Master? Excuse me? The Arcane Master is a wizard of unparalleled power. His character can perform miraculous feats, though at great cost. Every series I've had so far has had magic in it. Please, I need a break. Um, okay, we've got... What is it? Master Mason. Experience Builder. His experience allows him to build structures extremely fast and efficiently. Oh, that's a cool education. Build time, build cost, tax modifier, siege speed. Kind of like stewardship, except instead of administering realms, you're focusing on your holdings. That's cool. That's a nice feature. Um, what else we got here? Okay, we've got Political Maneuver. This character is an elusive adversary, plotting from the shadows. Revolt risk, intrigue, diplomacy, general opinion, plot power. Right. Vassal opinion, elite opinion, plus 15. That's very good. So that's essentially a sort of, um, an education that doesn't focus on stats. However, focuses on, um, I suppose keeping the round together. Sort of an underhanded, uh, I want to say underhanded schema, but I think that's also an education, isn't it? That, that's cool. So a cross between diplomacy and education. No real good stat gains from that. Well, I, that's only level 3, I suppose. And of course, we've got veteran wizard. Let's not worry about that. And there's obviously the first level of whatever this is. Beginner backstabber. Tutor in court politics. Yeah, so this is sort of your, your Machiavellian uh, trait, I suppose. If you want to look at it like that. Okay, right. Well, let's find him a good guardian who isn't any of these people. Because you're all pretty terrible. Um, and what do I educate him in stewardship, I think? So let's try and find ourselves a good steward with, with diligent and patient. All those good traits. Oh my lord. Heimdall, steward of Asgard. Of course. Uh, of course we have uh, Poseidon. Is that the Poseidon? That is the Poseidon. He has a god. He has glowing eyes. That's how you know he's the real Poseidon. Siblings. Uh, Hera, Hades, Zeus. Oh, that is legitimately Poseidon. 
Strong claim on Olympus. Uh, Uranus, Kronos, Zeus. I don't know what mod this is, but they've put a hell of a lot of effort into it. Good work. What else have we got here? we got Odin, of course, King of Asgard. I was kind of just looking for someone to educate my son. I don't know if Zeus would be up for that. Uh, we could always ask him, I suppose. Hey, Zeus. Uh, oh, no. Guess not. Zeus isn't up for teaching my son how to do maths. Well, that makes sense. Um, Diplorange, yes, is probably important. Why don't we go for... Join Court? Yes. This guy's pretty good. Um, quick. He does have Just and Patient. Unfortunately, he's got uh, Cruel. Now, obviously, the Guardian's traits affect your children's traits, so... I feel like this guy's a safe bet. Again, Cruel, we can get rid of fairly easily. Lunatic is good. There's a reason Lunatic's good, but I don't want to spoil the surprise. Let's take our good friend Matthew. Matthew, come to court. In fact, I'll even send him a gift so he's less likely to leave. 62. Wow, that was worth it. Come to court, Matthew. And let's get you educating my heir. Jihad for Egypt. Sure. That was quick. Holy shit. I didn't realize we already had Jihad and Crusade unlocked at this stage. Now, normally CK2 Plus puts a delay on it, so you can't immediately do things like this. But we won't worry about that too much. Matthew de Creel. And you're going to educate Ugo. Can we, can we rename Ugo? I don't like that. We can rename our house, obviously. Um, why don't we do that then? Style Catholic. No. That, say, satanic. Damned. Luciferian. Roman. Um, old Yotnar. Draconic. <laughs> um, oh, I like the elephant. Yeah, let's go with an elephant. I'm going to go with a big pink elephant, if I can do that. Uh, purple. That's kind of close. Okay, you know what? A big purple elephant. That's fine. Um... Sorry, where was purple? Am I crazy? Was that the purple that I saw? Okay, it was sort of a mauve, isn't it? We'll go with that. A nice blue black... Oh, that's oh, That's got awful. And we're going to call it the Elephant. Thank you. I know. It's inspired. It's good. That'll do. Sure. Ugo de Elephant. <laughs> what have I done? This is a good start, I think. I feel like we've already set ourselves up here. Now, we do need to assign you a guardian. I got distracted by the elephant. Very easy mistake to make there. Wow, he's, he's a good character. Midas touched as well. Now, hopefully this guy won't... Hang on, sexy. No, you can't trust those guys. Oh, we have, um... Apparently the Cultures mod as well? Interesting. I didn't think I'd installed that one. Now, as I said at the start, I do have a lot of mods that I think are a bit weird, a bit strange. You're going to see some of those as we play on. If you see any mods in this, do not assume that I think they are bad mods. Far from it. I've also included a lot of really, really good mods, in my opinion, to try and balance things out. Um, I essentially went to this Steam Workshop looking for the worst mods I could find. But again, the Cultures Modifier mods, we've got some good Society mods as well I'll talk about when we get there. I think they're some of the best mods we've got. If you see some mods in here, don't assume that I think they're bad by any stretch of the imagination. That being said, let's go. I come to play as Ugo now. Crusade for Jerusalem. Really? We've, we haven't even been playing a year yet, Pope. Deus Vault. Well, you know what that means. Do we have... Oh, we do have Padua. Holy shit, we do have Padua. I was going to say, we need to raise boats and go and defend the Holy Land. Um, let's lead. So, classic CK2 strat here. Let's go and land on Jerusalem for a day. Oh, Pope, can we join? Can we can we join this? Land on Jerusalem for a day, long enough to get the Crusader trait, and then come home, feeling proud of ourselves. Pope Alexander II, de Baggio. I also have the rare artifact option, so what we could do is we could try and steal the Bones of St. Peter. Do I have the steal artifact mod? Of course I do, because it's me. Um... Now, what that allows you to do, this is a great mod. I, was, I actually mentioned it very briefly in uh, CK2... CK2 Plus? No, that's not right. In the Outer Kings, I believe. Oh, stop messing with the, with the laws a second. So, what we can do is we can now type in Rare Artifact. Uh, and we can sort it by any people who have Rare Artifacts, funnily enough. So, what that's useful for is you can set to your religion. You can have a look and see where all the rare Christian artifacts are, for example. So, obviously, the Pope's got the Burn St. Peter. The Basilius will have... Um, Set to my religion group, it's probably a bit more helpful, but obviously the Basilius has Crown of Thorns, Nail of the True Cross, things like that. Very useful. I think we probably want to also try and steal the Ark of the Covenant as well. I'll make a short list in my brain, but that's a very good mod if you're looking for artifacts. Not only that, but uh, you can just type in Artifact if you're just looking for general artifacts, because it adds a, a trait to it. So, let's see if we can find someone who just has an artifact too. A Bishop Elderbert has an Ancient Rusty Weapon. Probably not on the, the list of things to steal, I'm going to be honest with you. Let's get to it. What is that? Resilient? Whoa, that's a good trait. Is that inheritable? He's also an arcane master. I'm sure so, I'm sure Jesus loves that. To the Holy Land. Deus Vault. Episode 1. Crusading. <laughs> oh, uh, do we want a crusade? Let's not go to Jerusalem. It's a silly place. I mean, we might get thwomped. Again, we just need to turn up, start a siege, and then leave. 
just to get the Crusader trait, just to, just to keep our vassals happy, things like that. So when our son takes over, can we have our son lay down? He's how old is he? He's 14. That's old enough. Alright, let's land. Now, it shouldn't take us too long to get this event. Great Holy War for Jerusalem. That's Cohen Gadol uh, Sukada of the Samaritans. Yep, why not? Go for it, my friend. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, yep. Let's get this uh, Crusader trait. Now, I don't know if we have to start a successful siege or not. Whether it's just by sieging. As I recall, it's it's within six months of being part of and during the combat of a, or the siege of a crusade. So, theory we should just get it from sitting around. In the meantime, how's our wife doing? I, w I want to start bribing people so we could get ourselves a fresh wife. Saying that, we're 57, she's 46. Let's focus on getting our son a better wife instead. Um, sorry, sociopath? Oh my lord. Excuse me? Is that because your guardian's a lunatic? This character has a troubled childhood, resulting in little empathy for others. Marshall plus four, though. Hang on a minute. That's pretty good. Um, personal comment skill plus one. Plot power increase plus 20%. Holy shit. Can I, can I switch you over to intrigue? I feel like we've missed a chance here. Although, saying that, he's, he's got four intrigue. He's 14. Yeah, it's not bad. Plus 20% flat to plot power increase is a lot. That's a huge amount. So if he can bring some money with stewardship, he can still do us some decent plots. Now, what I didn't mention is that... We got a lot of pop-ups at the start of the game. You probably saw that. Uh, it's part of Floki's building a tech mod. Takes a little tweaking to get working with CK2+. One of my favorite building mods. Um, I really like building mods, if you can't tell, from from the Game of Thrones mod and, and uh, Elder Kings and uh, Geheimnis Snack. Now, what this does is it essentially allows you in your main holding to build sort of, I would describe it as patrician-style building. So you've got stat-boosting buildings here, intrigue, learning... You've got build time, build cost there, fertility, things like that. Very unique buildings, really cool. Changed a lot of the tech as well. We'll sort of see more of that as we play more. We need some more money first. Sorry, do I have to actually start a successful... Oh, shit. My wife. My wife, no. Low fertility. Much smaller chance of having children while she is 46. It's nice that they give them a trait so you can actually keep an eye on that. Right, um... What if we go start a successful siege rather than just sieging anywhere? Um... These places are all going to be quite heavily defended, aren't they? Now we're not so much. 1,400 men. We could definitely siege there. How many men did I bring over? 1,900. Let's raise some more troops. You know what? This is this is for the Holy Land. I don't want to win the Holy Land, though. That would not be good. I so we could grant it to our son. Who's, who's winning in terms of war score here? Um, I forget how you check. Is it just the person at the very far side? Oh, we got 36%. Did you not just hover over it? Oh, right. There we go. Yeah, of course. Uh, Duke Gisulf, the second of Solero, 45%. Wow, okay. Let's not try and compete with that. I don't really want Jerusalem. Like I said, we want to we want to start small here. Oh, we could get the Crusader trait from this. Oh, no, those bandits. My wife. Are we going to win? Reinforce. Help us out. Oh, we could win this. It's looking good. Good work, team. And we could also see it just down. Come on, where's my Crusader trait? Am I definitely leading troops? Apparently we weren't leading troops, because now we're in... Over here? Am I missing something? Hmm. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Uh, we do need some more boats. Have we got any more boats? We have no more boats. Right, split the armies. Uh, we'll come back for you guys later. Why did we stop leading troops? I, I could have sworn I set us leading troops. Either way, let's, let's get back on that. Right. Hopefully now we'll uh, get, get ourselves the Crusader trait. There we go. I finally stand before the destination of the Crusade. With sword in hand, I'm ready to storm the walls of Sir. Gain the trait Crusader. Awesome. Very, very good. Basically, in a plus 15 with all other Christians. So, that's very, very handy to have. Why don't we get married? Just for a sort of temporary thing. Um, I very much doubt we're going to have any more kids. It is possible, though. We're going to try and find someone who's a genius. Is there anyone? Uh, gender, women married preferably not we could marry athena <laughs> well we, ca we can't marry athena obviously but we could certainly give it a go um what about you range marriage will you be tempted i'd like to have children me i mean is that true 58 i don't think that's the case i mean biologically men do have a reduced chance as they get older but i mean it's not it's not that unlikely it's not completely unheard of why don't we finish this uh why don't we finish this siege you know what fuck it let's help out let's try and take jerusalem i've changed my mind i want jerusalem now aha now who's winning um 
Where are we? What are we called again? Oh, that's with Lombardy. We're third. Episode one, taking Jerusalem. <laughs> Thank you very much. Taking prisoner at once. Do we gain the just trait? It'd be very useful. Another good reason for uh, doing sieges like this. Could try and get just out of it. Probably not too useful right now. I'd rather die and let our son take over this war, to be honest with you. Okay, you go back for some other troops. We might need them. How long till we finish with this one? We're not going to assault that one down. They've got way too many men. 38 boats. We've still got 4,000 men. Can I hire some uh, Can I hire some boats? Is that something we can do in this? We can. We can hire 25. Let's go for that. What do they appear? Down there? This is good. This would be so good if we take Jerusalem immediately. Oh, now we can assault it down. Let's do it. 52%. Am I winning yet? Oh my god, I'm all the way down there. It's because these guys are fighting these major, major battles. Um, we could always go and siege Jerusalem proper. Where is Jerusalem proper? Here it is. Yeah, I thought it was around there. Let's go and siege that down. We might just be able to do it. As long as we get there first, we'll be fine. Because we're technically the one launching the... Oh, did someone beat us there? Oh, this is going to be a difficult war. Where are my boats? Okay, let's merge you. It's quicker to move them to port than move them back out. Let's be careful here. Um, excuse me? Oh, they're not actually in Forar. They're on the other side of the river. God damn it. Um, why don't we master heavy infantry? Because I imagine we've got a fair amount of heavy infantry at this stage of the game. Uh, just judging by that alone, I might have picked the wrong one. Doesn't matter too much. We're going to eventually get a lot of heavy infantry. Oh, I think we're going to lose that, aren't we? Could be close. Are those guys going to reinforce? They are going to reinforce. There we go. Am I leading armies on this one? I am. <gasps> Getting the trait war veteran. I'm the defender. Look at this. Duchy of Lombardy. This could give us Jerusalem. Excellent. We're winning. Ah, <laughs> oh, good. This is exactly how I thought I'd start this series. Now, unfortunately, we aren't the one losing the siege on Jerusalem. Some other guy's taking control of that. Toulouse. Hmm. He might retire. Point commander? Am I really that good? War veteran has given me that much... Uh... Only, gives, only gives us personal combat, to be fair. No, you know what? I'm good. Thanks. Who is currently the head of the HRE? I'm going to assume... Yeah. How Sally and Heinrich II. Have you got anything good? Just the Iron Crown of Lombardy. I'm not interested in that too much. Hang on. I am absolutely interested in that. I'm Lombardy. Can I have this back? Probably practices religion in the Christian group. That's a really good artifact. Look at that. Tolerancy plus one. Vassal opinion plus ten. Short run years minus five. We may steal that when we're done holy warring. Can we lead the assault on Jerusalem now? That would be very handy. We're taking so much attrition here. What's our military organization like? Not particularly high. Um... 65% war score. We've got 13%, but they're also with 12, 11, and a 10% there. So it means we've just got... I, why don't we just go and siege to help keep our own war score up? Let them die in Jerusalem. Oh my god, I became a leper. Well, that's not good at all. Fertility minus 95%, health minus 1.5. Hmm. Oh, now we're leading. They've attached to us. Right, let's head back. If we take Jerusalem, we win this. Jerusalem becomes ours. Yeah. No, wait, that's not me. That just looks like me. But he is my courtier, and we are the attackers. We'll be the Duchy of Lombardy. Perfect. Okay, let's see just down then. Is that all the men we've got? We might want to hire... Ooh, no, we don't want to hire more men. Okay, send the boats back. Episode 1. My son's a sociopath. We're taking Jerusalem. Feel like, like I said, this is a really good start. <laughs> it's kind of just expecting a nice slow game, build up our dynasty a bit, you know. Switch things around here and there. Try and maybe take some land in the HRE. Something along those lines. Not so much this. Do you guys want to join us in, you know, actually sieging Jerusalem? Pope? My friend, the Pope? Uh, let's become paranoid. That's always good. And I can't afford to pay the farms out my own coffers. You are to compensate the farmer. We gain the trait just. We'll be known as the just. God damn it. It's a shame this character wasn't much, much younger. Because I'm turning him into a pretty good character here. War veteran, crusader, just in a very short time. Let's ignore leper. <clears throat> Don't worry about that. I also made his flag an elephant. Let's not forget the most important part. Alright, this is going to take a while. Now, our troops aren't dying to attrition, so we can just sit here forever. Assuming the Pope's dealt with his armies pretty well. Are we winning? No. Philippe. Once we siege Jerusalem, though. Then, then I think we'll be in a good scenario. Um, steward. We need a new steward. Of course, my good friend Matthew, who made my son a sociopath. Can you collect taxes in Lombardy? We're going to need it. 
Oh my god. We might run out of money. Oh, we got boat trays still. I thought I put them down. Oh wow, that's just from army levy? Whoa, okay. Never mind then. We might need to bring some more troops over, depending on how the siege goes. My steward has bought me different books to help with my rulership. Become a direct administrator, giving stewardship plus one and domain size plus one. Vassal administrator, stewardship plus two, vassal opinion plus ten. Orderly administrator, national revolt risk minus five and stewardship plus one. Or a building administrator, build time and build cost minus ten percent plus the stewardship plus one. That's pretty good. Um, I'm going to take vassal administrator though. I think we're all in agreement that that's pretty strong. Not that we have a huge amount of vassals, however... I'd rather keep the vassals that we do have on the side a little bit. Seeing as I'm going to have their army levies raised for quite a while. Do we, do we have to worry about that at this stage? Turns on the laws really, doesn't it? Plan the Duchy of Longwood. Centralization is minimum, oh dear. Okay, that's not good. What about the actual HRA itself? Oh, centralization, little banking laws, free council terms. Okay, sure. We won't worry about the bureaucracy so much. Prince Ugo's finished his education. How's he doing? Not too bad. Sociopath, obviously, Marshal plus four. You know what that means. Let's make him a commander and bring him to Jerusalem. Oh, is it as easy as that? Wow, we don't even have to grant him a title. Good work, CK2+. Plus. Bartholomew, you're fired. Ugo, please become a crusader. That would set us up quite nicely. Especially as he's a sociopath. It might help cancel out some of that negative Christian opinion. Do you guys actually want to help me take Jerusalem here? Or, or are we not worried about that anymore? King Philippe of France is really getting some headway here. Unfortunately, that's just... Because he has much, much larger armies than me. Again, if we siege down Jerusalem, the war goal, and arguably the most important province, maybe in the, the Christian world right now, I have a feeling we might get some points. Are we going to be able to finish it before the war ends, though? 88%. 4.6%. Yeah, this, this will be done by the end of the month. We're fine. Alright. When that guy's done burning. Yes, there we go. Must be careful. 100% war score. Oh, we've only got 15%. God damn it. Philippe. You and your men. Can we kill off Philippe? <laughs> no, I can't assassinate the King of France just because... There we go. Okay. Sure. Well, we lost it, but it doesn't matter. Um, who's it going to be? King Philippe, the Pilgrim of France. He kept all the titles for himself because, of course, he did. I would gladly attend. Whatever. You know what? I didn't want, <laughs> didn't want Jerusalem anyway. Unlanded Sons. Hello, Ugo. You didn't get the Crusader trait either. You idiot. Place a bounty? Mark this target character as ba for bounty hunters who will be targeted by members of the local fighters guild. I believe this is part of the uh, a new society mod that came out that adds a lot of different guilds. Round table. I, I think it's maybe the same person who made the tra great Tragley. Oh, it's a dragon. <sighs> Sorry, I had to face palm on that. That's a dragon. Oh, it's an immortal dragon. He's also 748 years old. Draconic. What? What is happening? Purity 2? Summoner? <laughs> Thank you for watching. Next episode, I will, uh, I'll have some plans set in motion. Let me know what you think of the series as an idea. Let me know what you think of the idea of me uh, having that separate uh, program for generating ourselves some goals. If we don't already have one, that is, of course. I'm going to research some of these mods. I want it to be, I want it to, a lot of it to be a surprise, as I said. I'm going to do a little bit of research into some of it, just so I can, I can get the general basics behind it, see what's worth doing, see what things are worth leaving to surprise. We'll pick this up some of the time. It's a little bit crazy.